don't you just feel at peace now? Like you could forgive 2020 for all the things that it did to you? No? Still feel about the same? Okay. What is up, people? Dunna here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look inside DaVinci Resolve at a highly requested topic that's kind of a follow-up to a previous video that I did all about my color grading process. I had a lot of people ask me after that, they're like, hey, that's great. That's nice to know how you did that, how you achieved those things, but how do I apply that across multiple clips? And there are a whole bunch of ways that you can do that in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm gonna give you a look at how you can speed up your color grading workflow by applying the same grade across multiple multiple clips in five different ways. Is it five different ways? I gotta double check this. Five different ways? One, two, three. It's kind of like five and a half different ways. You know what, it doesn't matter how many ways, I'm gonna just show you as many as I know. Let's do this thing. All right, so we're gonna back things up a bit. We're looking at the sequence that you saw at the start of this video. This was just something that I shot when my wife and I went out for a walk. I wanted to kind of try and capture the feeling that I get when I go for that walk, how peaceful it is, the nice crisp air. And we're going to take a look at how we can color grade this and make it a lot faster than having to go through each individual clip. All right, so we're actually gonna start off kind of where we left off in that last video. This is the clip of my wife. She's covering the sun from hitting her face. I'm gonna do a quicker version of that grade, something that I've been doing actually since that video is using this Cine Match. And what you can do here is choose your camera. Mine was the A7S III. And then the picture profile that you shot it in, hit apply. And then you can actually morph it into the look from another camera. So we're gonna choose the Arri Alexa Log C. And here's the stuff that I really like. It gives you all these primary corrections. So I can apply a Rec 709 transform. So now it looks a little bit normal, maybe a little bit too bright. And so what I can do is click FC exposure skin tone. So that's for false color. And then I can bring down my exposure till the orange is just tickling her skin. And now it looks like we've got a better exposure. And then we can also choose our white balance using the white balance color picker. And we've got our base layer correction already done. Super quick. I'm gonna add another node here. There we go. So there's our log image and then there's our kind of quick grade on it. Now, one of the quickest ways that you can get through your color grade, if everything was kind of shot in the same way or the same situation with the same settings, that kind of thing, what you can do is you can highlight all of your clips. So I can start with that one and then shift click over, shift click that way. Or if you've got this one and you want to pick certain ones, you can either command or control click on only the ones that you want to apply to. Or in this case, I'm just gonna hit command A and it's gonna to select all of them. And then, so once you've got your selection made, you can right click on the one that's already graded and you can hit apply grade. And after a second, all my previews will open up. I've got that same grade on that first clip and the second clip. And generally it's looking pretty good. And so now I can go through and tweak each of those individually so that each shot obviously looks good because everything's gonna need something kind of different. Like this one, for example, is quite a bit darker. So I could go back into primary corrections here and brighten it up because it didn't need to be pulled down the same way that other one did. So that's way number one that you can do it. The second way that we're gonna do it is we're gonna create a still. So on our graded clip, we're going to right click on the actual viewer itself and hit grab still. And so you can see, I actually have one in here from the last time I graded this and it's a slightly different grade than this one is. And so now what I can do is if I go to another clip, let's say I go to this other one of my wife again, you can get a little preview of this clip with that grade on it. So I can tell already it's gonna be dark, but let's say I thought, okay, that's at least a decent place to start. It's gonna make things quicker. I can right click on there again and hit apply grade. And then again, I can go in here and I can mess with my exposure, get things set up a little bit better, and I can tweak what I already have in there. And again, if you want to go over to a couple of different clips and highlight them, then you can right click on your still and hit apply grade. And again, we've got it applied now to all four of those clips that I had highlighted. If you're not seeing this up in the left, you have to hit the gallery. That's what you need to have open here. And we're gonna see stills and we're gonna see power grades. Now power grades are very cool. Stills are confined within the project that you're working on. Power grades are like an overall folder that will go 
go between all of your projects. So let's say I made this grade and I really love it and I wanna be able to apply it on a different project, I can actually grab a still and apply it into the power grade folder. And now that one will show up on all my projects anytime I go into this power grade two folder. And the way that you make sure it goes in there is literally just by clicking on that folder and having it open there. Now, if I go back to my stills, this is one's from my project. And one thing that I actually like to do, let's say this was your normal node tree, the kind of typical setup that you had for your nodes on every time you did it. You could go in and zero all this out so that it was just kind of the three nodes. Maybe you have them named, that kind of stuff. Save a power grade as just kind of your basic empty node tree. I have one here just called node tree. And if I hit apply grade, it's got my entire node tree with a couple of things that are deactivated because I don't want them right off the bat. And all of these are just empty, but it's my whole process all ready to go for me. So I can just start grading right from there. Let's move on to way number three. Now this one's a little bit different. So let's say you're in the color grading tab, you do your basic thing, and then you go back to your edit tab and you're like, oh, actually, this clip and this clip, I want to have the same grade. What you can do is click on the clip that has the grade you want and hit Command C or Control C to copy. Then what you're going to do is go over to the clip that you want to apply it to and hit Option V. Now what that's gonna do is it's something called Paste Attributes. And it's gonna bring up this dialog here and you get to choose which attributes from the clip that you copied settings from, what do you want to apply to the next clip? And all you gotta do is find the color correction and apply and bam, now it's got the same color correction. So you can also do this from the actual edit page itself if you happen to catch the moment that you need that grade in the edit page. And speaking of the edit page, way number four, I think it's number four, is by using adjustment layers. Now, maybe you're like me and you're moving over from Premiere Pro, trying out DaVinci Resolve, seeing what it's all about. Adjustment layers might actually be fairly familiar to you. What we're gonna do is go into our effects library. We're gonna hit the little search button and I'm just gonna type in adjustment clip. I'm gonna drag that up over top of my entire thing here. And now when we go into our color grading tab, there's gonna be this blank one and it's gonna be called adjustment clip. So now what we wanna do is apply our grade to that. So what I'm gonna do is highlight these two that I have a grade on and reset them. I'm gonna go into my adjustment clip and I'm going to, now that I have a power grade here, I'm going to right click and hit apply grade. It's a little tough to see what's going on because you don't get the previews here. So it looks like I just don't have any of my clips graded. But if we go over to the edit, you can see that they obviously are graded. And one of the cool things is that because of the way that the layers are working, anything that you do to these clips is kind of pre that adjustment clip. So for example, this one is now a little too dark, so I can just mess with my offset that's going into that other effect. So if that's something that you want to do, if you want to affect these clips before the grade that you did that you've applied to the adjustment layer, now you can do that. And one of the cool things about the adjustment clips is that if you don't need them for a while, you can just hit D to make that inactive, or you can kind of chop it up and move it around to just where you want. Or if you needed this again over here, you can make the adjustment clip and just kind of move it over where you needed it. I used to absolutely love adjustment layers when I was in Premiere Pro. I don't find myself using them much anymore more in DaVinci Resolve, but if that's part of your workflow and you like that, now you know how to do it. Yay. All right, back into the color page. We're going to apply our grade to this one back where we started. The next way that we can apply to multiple clips, if we're working through the timeline, let's say I started here and I want to go to the next one and I'm like, oh, it would be kind of handy to just be able to apply the grade from the last one. You can hit equals and bam, it applies from the last one. If we look up in the color, tab up here, color drop down menu, that's what it's called. We can see that it's apply grade from one clip prior, and then we've got apply grade from two clips prior. So let's say you wanted to actually skip this one. You're like, oh, this next clip doesn't make sense to have those same settings. Maybe it came from a different camera or something like that, but the clip after it does. So we can hit the dash or the minus, subtract, whatever you wanna call it, and it will apply the grade from two clips before. So if we just, for whatever reason, wanted every other clip to have that grade, maybe we're going back and forth 
between cameras. We can do that reasonably quick. It's just a little bit quicker than having to highlight this clip, right click on the first clip, hit apply grade. It's just a little bit of a faster way to do it. And then lastly, there are something called groups and this can actually get quite advanced if you want it to. So I'm gonna reset this one and we're gonna set some groups here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight a couple of these clips like that and I'm gonna right click on any of them, add into a new group. I'm gonna name the new group, awesome group one. And now you can see that there's this little link. So anything that I do across them, I can now do in a grouped way. And what happens is you'll notice that up in our top part here, there's a new set of buttons. So if I go to a clip that's not in a group, there's just two. So there's the clip and there's the timeline. Oh, that's another way. What have I done? We're going to get back to that. <laughs> now I've distracted myself. Okay. So going back to groups. So a clip that's not in a group has two options. There's clip and there's timeline. And then a clip that is in a group now has four options. So we've got group pre-clip, we've got clip, we've got group post-clip, and then we've got the timeline. So nothing has changed for the clip and the timeline. So if I wanna do an edit on just this one clip, I can apply that grade from our power grades folder just to that clip. And it's done nothing to the other ones in that group. But if I go group pre-clip, now I can apply that grade again while this is open and it's going to put it in the pre-clip. All of this stuff that's happening in this grade that we created is happening before the clip grade. So if I wanted to, let's say, go in and go to my clip now, I get a whole nother node tree and I can brighten it up from here. So this is happening after everything that I've already done. So now I just affected that one without affecting the other ones, again, because I'm selected on the clip node tree. And so now when I select the group pre-clip and reset it, it happened to all of the ones in the group. Then alternatively, you've got group post clip, which I've used this one significantly more. And this is where let's say I would apply my grade. So I'm in group post clip. I've got one of the ones that's in that group selected. I'm going to apply the grade from our power grade folder. It looks exactly the same, but now if I go back to my clip, I'm doing things before all of that grading. So for example, this one's a little bit darker, so I might want to brighten it up before all of that stuff happens. Or I might want to mess with the white balance of this shot before all of that other grading happens. And then in our group post clip, you can see we've got that same grade that we created earlier across everything that's in that group. So depending on what kind of workflow you want to have or what kind of thing you specifically need for that project, this might be a way that you can do that. Likely what you'd wanna do is in the group pre-clip, you might want to apply, let's say the same kind of color space transform across all of the clips in that group. If they all came from the same camera, all use the same settings, that kind of thing. And then in the clip, you might wanna do the individual edits for each different shot. If they have slight little variations, you might wanna do exposure, or white balance changes. And then in the group post clip, you could apply like your final look across kind of everything in that group. Okay, so that's groups kind of in a nutshell. And then absolutely finally, what we're gonna do is up here where I found before last minute, I wasn't planning on doing this one. We've got clip and then we've got timeline. You can probably guess what this is gonna do. Anything that we do in the timeline node tree is going to happen across the entire thing. Now the catch here is that I don't think that our power grades are going to work here. So if I hit apply grade to our timeline using our power grade, it doesn't do anything, but I might be able to hit command C and command V to each node. So this is one thing that you can do as well. You can create nodes and then copy from other nodes to them, but you have to create the node first and then copy and paste. So now my timeline has all those edits on it and you can see that it's worked across all of them, although it's only updating the preview of this one. But if we go back to our main edit, you can see that they've all got a grade applied to them. So that is five or six or seven different ways that you can apply your color grade across multiple clips within DaVinci Resolve. Like I said, if you know more ways than this, 
please leave a comment below because that would just be awesome. Let's expand the knowledge of the community. And you know what? Even if you don't know another way, make sure to go leave a comment down below anyway and just say hi. And on your way down there, make sure to hit the like, subscribe, and that bell notification button so you don't miss out on future reviews and tutorials. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.